Good afternoon friends. Welcome back to the channel. Hitchhike and Yeti here and today we are in Southport right here standing in front of Fort Johnston and Really cool day today. We are going to check out some filming locations from a movie that was filmed here in Southport back in 2012 it was released in 2013 and I'm talking about none other than the movie Safe Haven and I gotta say I read the comments and I did a video here in Southport with a little movie history is what it was called uh, about a year ago and and when I was in Fort Johnston and they it's like a museum in there and they have a wall or an area in there that has a lot of the movies that's been filmed here in the area and I read one of the movies was safe haven and there was a lot of different safe haven stuff and in the video I think I said something like huh that's interesting there's a lot of stuff but you know I don't really know what that is and then people in the uh, comments was like in shock that I've never seen the movie safe haven so I will rest assure you I have watched Safe Haven now I watched it uh, about a month ago and uh, I decided to such a beautiful day out I thought hey let's go over to Southport and knock out some filming locations and the movie has been out now 10 years it was released in 2013 it's a Nicholas Sparks story originally it was a book and they end up making a movie out of it and it was all filmed right here mainly in Southport they done a little filming up in Wilmington like some of the Boston bus scene was actually the uh, Wilmington Civic Center and some of the interior town stuff at the very beginning of the movie when Katie and her husband have like an issue and that's why she ends up leaving because she's kind of abusive um, that's actually in a neighborhood up there uh, I really didn't want to go to those areas because I don't I don't know there, there is hard to park up there and I don't really like parking in front of people's houses that I don't know so uh, we're just on a stick in Southport today it's much easier to film this and uh, there's a lot of stuff right here in the air we can knock out and make a cool little video out of this hopefully so uh, that being said if you're ready I'm ready let's get started and check out some safe haven filming locations on a glorious day right here in Southport North Carolina let's get started friends first of all all I gotta say is look at how beautiful this waterfront area is here in Southport and when the main character Katie when she gets to town here in Southport I don't know if it's a helicopter or a drone or whatnot but you see her bus coming into town and the the shot is actually coming from this direction over the Cape Fear River and it kind of follows the bus down the main street here and you will see it you will see this this uh, pier right here which is uh, one of the first spots we're going to take a look at because when she arrives at town there's a scene in the movie where she is actually setting right beneath this very pier in the evening hour so let's go down there and take a look at it all right friends we have made it down here to the waterfront and right here is the pier that you see in the movie there's a scene where she's actually beneath it and she's like just hanging out beneath the, the pier is at night and I know it looks a lot different in the daytime obviously but you can uh, if you take the picture and you look at it you can uh, line up the light fixtures and so that there is an actual pier that they shot that scene beneath and showed in the movie really cool so uh, that being said we're gonna walk up the hill in this direction and go check out a coffee shop where Katie and Joe shared a moment together so let's walk up there and check that out Right, friends so I have walked down here to the corner of Bay Street and South Davis Street right there is the pier and now we're gonna make our way in this direction because right up here is where the coffee shop is located where Katie and Joe go uh, sit and have a coffee do a little talking all right friends I have made my way up here to East Moore Street as we come from this direction right here is the uh, maritime museum here in southport and right here is our next destination this here is the moore street market and this is where katie and joe came in the movie spent a little time talked about some stuff joe's character in this movie is not a big character you're not going to see her in a ton of scenes but she's extremely important to the story and the backbone to this thing it kind of pays off in the end if you're like me you've never seen it before you've never read the book you watched the movie her character is is uh 
very interesting that's all i'm going to say i don't want to spoil it for you because it's definitely if you know what she is and what she's doing in the movie it will definitely spoil it so i don't want to get into that but this is the moore street market where they went and uh spent a little time it's a little eatery here in southport it actually is up here on this sign it says southport coffee company and kitchen so uh i can't remember if that signs even in the movie or is that something they renamed it maybe back then it was called more street market not really sure but all in all this is the location in downtown southport to give you some bearings of where it is this here is south davis street right here so it's right on the corner of south davis and east moore street all right let's go look at some more spots we still got quite a few more locations to look at so let's keep on moving fellas and gals let's do it all right friends we have made it down here to the southport area where all the eateries are like fishy fishy cafe frying pan provisions and uh ovens where she gets a job in the movie is just located right here behind us we're going to go check that out here momentarily but first i want to check out this beach because this here is the area we will put a screen grab up on the t on the screen for you to see but if you notice this watchtower and this little smaller building right here that roof and how that pier kind of jettisons out and also look at this old pier that used to be here i think the shot from the movie was about right here and her picnic table the white picnic table probably see how the the greenery kind of goes in and then it comes back out i think it was sitting right here in this area now the picnic table has long been gone even though i think a few years ago they still had one but we've had quite a few hurricanes come through here in the last 10 years especially hurricane florence so yeah that thing's been gone for a while and in that little short pier that you're looking at right by right the first one past her there's like a little short pier it's definitely gone and then the even longer one behind it i think this here is what's left a bit so this right here i'm thinking is the spot where her white picnic table was located when katie was sitting here and kind of looking out over the beautiful bay you can just line that up that's the background and this is what she would have been looking at as she's trying to take all this in while she's here in southport so a uh, very beautiful location i love that part of the movie especially because i just love this area so much and it was just a great shot and uh, so next we're going to move turn around right here behind us and go look at in the movie it was called ivan here it has a different name but we're going to walk over there to it and look at the uh the place where she got her job while she was here in southport uh being a waitress all right friends just like that bada bing bada boom we have made our way down here to the american fish company and this is the in the movie this was uh ivan's right here it is this is the american fish company here in southport right here on the waterfront and as you can see it's they have the signage up here it says ivan's fish shack and this is where katie worked in the movie and they even have a poster of the movie right here still so like i said southport is very proud of this movie safe haven check that out that is pretty cool all right friends i just had a quick conversation uh with a man that works here at the american fish company his name is john super nice guy he gave me a little bit of insight about the movie and some of the filming uh i did look on the inside of it he kind of gave me a tour this is actually like a private club where you pay like a dollar uh to for a one-year membership and you go here and they have like music food and drinks and things like that so uh i was gonna film like around the inside of it but to be honest with you it's not the same as it was the movie because due to hurricanes and stuff he said they've had to rebuild this place quite a few times as you can imagine it is just right here on the water so when a hurricane comes through and you get really large like storm surges of six feet and higher yeah places like that really take the brunt of that so uh he told me a little bit about alex's house from the movie is just not too far in this direction so we're going to hit in that hit in that direction and go check out alex's house and that is a uh, and it also alex's store is right there in that area also so we're going to go knock that out and go look at a few more places and then we're going to wrap this video up today it's been a lot of fun i hope you have enjoyed it so far i'm uh not really 
the best at these kind of videos but hopefully as i do more of them i can get better thanks for sticking with me so let's keep this thing moving all right friends we are down here by fishy fishy cafe and we're just going to keep walking in that direction right over there where those boats are is kind of where we're headed and over there we will see alex's house and also see the business or the store where alex was working out of which burned down in the movie and it was deconstructed when the movie was completed so we're just going to head in that direction and see what we can see all right friends i'm here on the corner of brunswick street and yacht basin drive and right here is where alex's store was located in the movie where he worked and this was called ryan's port market in the movie and uh if you look at the steel or the screen grab we're going to throw up here you notice on the on the one side of the market you'll see a palm tree and i think these palm trees right here kind of marks the area where he sat i think it's right here you have this little palm here but these palms right here was on the far side of his market and i'm about a hundred percent sure this is the location where they built the market in the movie but you know i was reading about it they did dismantle it at the end of the movie that's why it's no longer here and if you watch the movie you kind of know what happens to the market it actually burns down so uh but this here is definitely the spot because right there those that palm tree has got some age on it i'm pretty sure that's the same palm they just built it right here in this big area which is the perfect area to put it and you can see how the road kind of has that bend to it that little wrap around and in the, if you look at the scene in the movie this is definitely the lay of the land about where it should be especially when you're looking at fishy fishy cafe and you look at how the boat docks and stuff are so this is definitely the spot to where ryan's market was located so i don't know if you guys really noticed the people who have watched safe haven uh, in the scene when Katie shows up at the market for the first time and she's talking to Alex's young little daughter. What a sweetheart of a girl in the movie. And she really has an affection with Katie and that character. And when Katie is in there talking about she wants to uh, repaint her wood floors in her home that she just purchased or is renting, um, the little girl was trying to get it together and you see Alex for the first time and his helper Roger this older man helping him haul some stuff inside of the store and they're setting it down together right do you, here's a little fun fact if you're a fan of Elvis Presley yeah Elvis Presley actually is going to tie into safe haven in some way the old man Roger is played by Elvis Presley's old bodyguard who had turned into an actor later you know uh, his name is red west and i didn't even recognize him because he's gotten so much older but and he had a little bit more facial hair than i'm used to seeing or i probably would have noticed him because red west was also in the movie roadhouse with patrick swayze which is one of my favorite movies of all time that was such a kick butt movie but um yeah so that was red west so if you didn't know now you know red west elvis presley's old bodyguard from back in the day the kid you know for the king man the king of rock and roll is actually in safe haven red west check it out pretty cool all right friends we have just walked down right there is the palm trees where we were just located looking at the market that alex ran in the movie and right here is alex's house here in southport that is pretty cool and look how beautiful you can actually see it still has the brick now a lot of the greenery has kind of grown up on that but they still have that big beautiful tree out here i don't know what kind of tree that is. i don't know if that's a live oak or what that is but this right here was the limb where the swing actually dropped down that katie actually reads the note that alex gives her toward the end of the movie which is uh, very revealing on uh what the outcome of the movie is so it's really cool so but this right here is the house that they use for the filming at least the exterior parts i don't think there's any interior parts of this this home in the movie that i can remember i've only seen it once but uh this is it pretty cool pretty awesome man and i love this tree 
Could you imagine living here? I mean, just look at look at the view these people have when they look out the front window. Is that not unbelievable? Just gorgeous. Beautiful. All right. So now we're going to take a moment. There's a part in the movie where Katie is on her bicycle and um, her and Alex has had a little issue about the bicycle somebody you know him fixing the bicycle i don't think she really appreciates somebody just helping her with not even asking and uh so there's a scene in the movie where she's coming down from that direction and pulls up and alex and the kids are piling into the car and fixing to go to the beach and uh of course alex's uh, cute little daughter who loves katie to death already it did not take her to get attached to her in the movie at all it was very quick um, invite you to go to the beach with them and Alex is like oh I don't know about that you know and and they was like are you sure and she's like yeah I go I want to go to the beach and so they have a moment where they go to the beach and that's like the first time Katie and Alex kind of connect and have time to just get to know each other a little bit and that's really when their little love starts to uh, bloom a little bit in that, in that scene so uh, I'm gonna take you right now real quick over to the beach it's not here it's actually you've got to get on the ferry like they did in the movie go over to fort fisher on that side on pleasure island close to carolina beach curry beach where we normally are at here on the vlog and uh i'm going to take you to the spot where they filmed the beach scenes so if you're ready i'm ready let's go do it and then we'll come back here and uh, go look at one more thing maybe two and then wrap this thing up so let's go do it all right, friends, we are over here on the Fort Fisher side of the Cape Fear River. And we're about to get wet. <laughs> There's a king tide going on right now, so you got to really be careful the way the water and stuff comes in uh, very quickly. It's very sneaky. So uh, this is the area or of the beach where Katie and Alex come for their little beach getaway together with the kids. And this is like the first scene of the movie where they start to have a connection you know they're even a very uh small scene where their fingers get a little bit closer like they're going to hold hands and they really get to know each other here on this beach and uh i think that's one of the most beautiful scenes in the movie is when they're really starting to connect and trust each other a little bit and this right here is the part of the beach where it all happened as we see back here you can see these rocks in the background in some scenes with Alex when he's turned around he's talking to the family and talking to Katie you will see these rocks in the background here at Fort Fisher and then if we kind of turn around to this side in some of the other scenes when he's taking a picture of Katie and the kids and they kind of get somebody to do a group picture with all of them you can actually see the rooftop of this structure just over the dune so it lines up pretty good. I'm thinking I'm pretty close, about right in the correct spot of this scene. But this is exactly where it happened. And uh, the structure that you're looking at right here is actually like the bathhouse, the, where the changing rooms are. They have restrooms. They have grills over there so you can come park your car, get all that stuff done, have little picnics, and then you can come out here and enjoy yourself at the beach here at Fort Fisher. So uh, that's where we are right now. So, really cool spot, a little lengthy. To get over here from Southport, you definitely have to uh, take the, the ferry over here. And I kind of wonder why they used this spot and didn't use like Oak Island Beach, because you can just drive there from Southport. It's not very far at all. You can probably be from Southport to get to Oak Island from a logistics standpoint, less than 10 minutes. To come over here on a ferry, probably going to take you at least it's about a 25 minute ferry ride and you got to wait in line to get on the ferry so um, I don't know if it was just something they wanted to do maybe it was uh, they have rights to film here probably licensing and they maybe they can control this area a little bit more since it's not it is a public beach but as you can see there's no housing here or anything like that so they, I guess they had a little bit more free will to do what they want over here and probably could kind of shut this area down and do all their filming without being bothered by you know onlookers and things like that maybe so uh I get it and there was another movie that was filmed here way back in the early 90s I don't know if you ever uh, heard of Weekend at Bernie's 
Y'all remember that old crazy movie where the guy dies and the two guys are hanging out with him on his uh, island and they're walking him around and he's dead because they don't want to leave, you know? They're living this big ritzy lifestyle and uh, he invites them into town. So, uh, but anyway, weekend at Bernie's, not to, I digress, don't want to get on that, that train, but uh, weekend at Bernie's, Bernie's house was actually right here that's where it was located right here on this dune now after the movie was filmed they uh they removed the house and the same thing happened in safe haven katie's house in the woods they built that home and then they removed it when they was done so unfortunately you know we can't go look at that house or anything plus i think all that was on private property anyway so uh so this is the beach i wanted to definitely show you this i think it's pretty cool so uh that's another one knocked off, so let's see what else we can go find today. We got a little bit more to go look at, so let's go get her done. All right, friends, we're over here at the Southport Ferry Terminal at this time. They have a safe haven kind of collage over here. As you can see, scenes from the movie, you can actually see one of the ferries there in the background. Right here, some of the actors. They have all kinds of cool stuff here. Look at this right here. They have a picture. It says Nicholas Sparks welcomes you to the Southport Ferry Visitor Center. Pretty awesome. So this town has definitely embraced Safe Haven. Right there is Josh Dumas at the uh, Welcome to Southport sign. And right here is the scene that we're going to look at is when he pulls up to the ferry terminal. As you can see, the guard shack there in the background. We're going to go line that up. And uh, where you can kind of see what that looks like today compared to what it looked like in the movie itself. So really cool. Let's get started. Safe Haven. All right, friends, I have made my way down here to where you drive your vehicle onto the ferry. And this right here is the spot right down there is where he actually runs down to the ferry to catch up with katie as she boards the ferry and she's trying to leave southport and uh he figures that he's made a grave mistake because they have a bit of a spat over her past i don't want to give too many details out of it and just in case you've never seen the movie but uh he has a change of heart and he tries to chase her down and in the movie we put a a picture a screen grab up on the screen i think the screenshot that we're looking at the angle of the camera was probably about right here and he parks right down here and gets out and he runs right down through here and you can see this arrow and there's another arrow right up there not too far up but this here might be about the lineup of where the camera was when it was filming that scene so this is where alex shows up to the ferry terminal and then makes his way onto the ferry which is highly illegal you could you would never do that in real life but in the movie you know how it is love love trumps everything and uh that's what happens so this is where he pulls up and he chases her down to try to talk her into staying in southport and let her know that hey i'm going to protect you and everything's going to be okay so that being said let's move on to another spot and see what else we can figure out about these filming locations of this really good movie. I'm having a lovely time sharing these spots with you guys today. As the horn goes off, that means you're able to get out of your car. That kind of made my heart jump. <laughs> but uh, all in all, everything's good. So uh, let's head on to our next spot. See what else we can find today. But we are in closer, we're on the other side of Southport now, closer to Oak Island. This is uh, Fish Factory Road right here behind me. And if you go all the way to the end of this road, you will run into the where the Oak Island Airport is. Just to give you a kind of an idea of where this location is. Because in the movie, if you remember, there's a scene in the movie where um, Alex and Katie are canoeing together in a really like beautiful, kind of a swamp area with these old live oaks and stuff coming out of the water. And he's that's like his safe haven. That's a place that he really enjoys going to. And he's sharing that with her. And that's a big moment for him in the movie because, you know, his wife passed away and this is the first time he's been in a relationship with somebody then that he feels really connected to. So 
the rain starts happening it happens in movies sometimes especially movies like that like little love stories it starts raining they have to dock the boat they get out into the woods they're running through the woods holding hands laughing having a good time because it's just pouring down rain and this is the place where they take refuge right here this is the wildlife restaurant and grill right outside of oak island north carolina and we're just going to cross over here to see if we can get the same shot so in the movie I think they actually run from these woods over here where this house is or I don't really show you this house I think the the shot set up in the movie is about right here and you just see them running that direction toward the front door now the cool thing about this place is that I think it's so awesome is they definitely embrace safe haven i went inside before i started filming and talked to one of the waitresses on the inside about how the filming went in there and they have the same table when you first go in to the door and uh, the first table on the left they have a picture of alex and katie sitting at that exact table with like the same curtains and everything so if you're a fan of safe haven you can come here and eat at the same spot where they filmed that scene in the movie where they're having a little meal staying out of the weather so pretty cool in the movie you know it looked like the canoe and the the waterway they was in was just right here through these woods not too far but in all all honesty um i think i read that that scene was actually filmed in winnebo north carolina which is a good probably 15 20 miles plus away i mean it's not that that close you're not going to be walking that you know maybe if you're a navy seal or something you can make that happen really quick but they're not so uh that's movie magico but i did just want to kind of point that out so uh that being said friends this is kind of the end of the video today this is about all i can show you or all i can find that i really know for sure this is where these locations are located i might have missed one or two i know there's some in wilmington i just didn't want to go to but uh i thought the bread and butter i definitely showed you here in the southport area so i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and if you did give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new welcome until next time friends i'm the hitchhiking yeti and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and all you guys and gals out there please stay safe